Good morning, my friends. It's Saturday, September 30th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. We're looking at a map of the world, Mapa Mundi. This is from the 13th century from a manuscript that was, uh, that is housed in a museum now in Paris. It is an incredible depiction of, of the globe, starting with the fall of Adam and Eve. I'm going to try to bring you in closer to Adam and Eve here. You can see they're, they've already fallen. They've covered themselves with fig leaves and they start the clock, you could say. There are two layers here. One is the earth, kind of a reddish earth with lots of piles of rocks and city buildings identifying cities like Judea, Cappadocia, Phrygia, Pamphylia. And then around it is the ocean with peak guys on boats, but also places that they knew they had to go on the water to reach. And all of it looks very fractured, which in a way is our fallen world, longing for that unification that will come. And speaking of fractured, what an incredible story we have today in 2 Kings. So King Ahaziah of, of Judah has been killed and his mother does a radical thing. Now she, remember, she is the daughter of Jezebel and Ahab. She goes and kills all of her other children so that she can be the queen. Meanwhile, her sister, who seems to have a bit of a sane bone in her body, hides one of her sons, Joash, and with a nurse, hides this little baby boy away for six full years. When the baby boy is getting to be older, the priest comes and makes a plan. He orders that the boy will be brought into the temple and surrounded by soldiers, and that the soldiers will go and get Joash's mother, who is the queen, take her away and kill her. They follow through with the plan. She rents her clothes and she's all upset because there's this coup going on, which is her very son. The priest doesn't want her killed in the temple, so they take her out outside to outside of the temple grounds and she's killed there. And then they destroy all the images of Baal and return to Yahweh in faithfulness. But what a brutal story of a woman who is so hell-bent on grasping power that she's willing to kill her offspring, as it says in the Hebrew, kill all of her seed so that she can be queen. A nightmare, even worse than Jezebel. And her name was Ath Athaliah, Athaliah, the deadly queen, the hideous mother. It's like a horror story. But she is finally dealt with and after all that horror, it seems like Judah wants to return to Yahweh for a while. I think they've had enough of other gods. Let us pray. Almighty God, the zest for power, the zest for influence, for feeling important is so strong that sometimes human beings will lose all their morality in the grasp of it. Since Adam and Eve took that fruit, we have been trying to grasp things that we cannot hold, such as power, influence, popularity, success. And when we try to grasp these things that are out of our control, we distort our lives and the world. We ask you to help us remember that you are God and we are not. That only you control the whims of people, success and failure, we are to follow the path that is laid before us, but not to strive for things that are not of us. Not to think that power is important when only you hold power. We ask you to bless the sick today, Lord Christ, and to bless those who mourn and those who are dying. We ask you to bless the addicted, Lord, the homeless, those who are incarcerated, lonely, or mentally ill in any way. We ask you to give us reverence and respect for this beautiful earth, not to take more than we have been given. 
And we ask, Lord, that you would guide us in our steps today, that we might be faithful to you in all that we do and say. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.